um, first of all, uh, as, as Mark introduced uh, me a moment ago, I'm Ronald McNichol, Head of Digital Learning and currently um, based in Seven Oaks in Kent, South East England. So um, I say returning home here because, of course, my home as such is Northern Ireland. Uh, but what I want to do over the next 10 minutes or so is give you a bit of a, a flavour of my experiences having taught internationally and then sort of returning um, to, to the UK, um, uh, how I find that adjustment um, and hopefully share some tips if, if anyone in the audience is kind of facing that kind of dilemma, um, whether to kind of stay abroad or, or return home. So um, I, as I mentioned, I, I originate from Northern Ireland and after I uh, finished university, teacher training college, I moved to Belgium. Um, and had a, a fab couple of years there and a, a really lovely, lovely school. And that was my first sort of flavor of, of teaching um, abroad and, and sort of meeting people from different cultures. And as I reflect on that, it was just great fun because you were obviously um, in, in a new area. Um, you're, you're sort of meeting new people. And then you're also sharing professionally. You're sharing and gaining ideas from uh, teachers that have, 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 have originated and come from all different countries. Um, and after Belgium, I moved then um, to uh, Dubai, and, and uh, I'm sure many of the audience will recognise um, this school, Dear International School in Festival City. And um, uh, and again, that was a fantastic experience, and, and I had a great time in Dubai with all the um, the, the brunches and the nightlife and um, and everything that kind of Dubai as a, as a modern cosmopolitan city offers. Um, and, and, and then professionally as well, um, continuing that journey of, of, of being young and, and passionate and, and sort of trying to find my way and what, what I was interested in and so on. Um, so, so there's so many positives. And, and I think teaching abroad is something I very much encourage to, to, to young people if, if, if they've kind of got travel in their blood, if you like. So um, after that, uh, me and my, my now wife, we went to uh, live in China, outside Shanghai, big city called Suzhou. And this was a this school was Dulwich College, Suzhou. Um, they have obviously a, a Dulwich College outside London, Dulwich. And um, they kind of set up a, a series of schools, a franchise, and, and they have various schools in, 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 in Singapore and, and China and, and some other countries. Um, and uh, again, we were we kind of at that stage in our lives, we were... Um, Beginning to think about, there's, a, there's, I suppose, some sort of pull uh, to, to return home, but I think we, we still wanted to just experience some more, um, a, essentially, some, some more sort of cultural experiences and, and, and also continue our, our journey as international teachers. Um, and I think we were kind of young enough that we were um, inclined that way, that we just wanted to keep traveling. Um, and after we kind of had a, a two years there, my wife didn't particularly love China. Um, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, we decided to return to Dubai um, because it was just uh, so much fun the first time around. Um, and of course, uh, I ended up working in Jess Dubai, which is a fantastic school. Uh, I was very fortunate to uh, to get a job job there and, and, and I grew so much professionally, um, worked with some fantastic teachers and, and I have done throughout my career and, and also here at Seven Oaks Prep. But, but that was a, a really um, pivotal time for us because I think it was, that was the time when we basically grew up um, as, as people and teachers um, and we had family um, and I suppose life kind of changed. It was uh, in that period of, it was a period of eight years. In that time period, it became less about um, sort of going out and, and having fun and traveling around the region to old man and, and doing all the brunches it became a bit more about real life and, and thinking about um, children and, and more sort of growing up things. So um, uh, that was kind of my, my life abroad. And um, we kind of then, after quite a few years in Dubai, and we, we owned a villa, um, we, we really sort of reached a point where there was a bit of a conundrum for us um, and our family. Uh, we were very settled and we were kind of thinking um, we could stay here. Um, until retirement and who knows beyond um, or do we actually just pull the plug and, and go home as such um, and, and I suppose we kind of had to weigh up the pros and cons um, and, and we were very settled at, the, at this point I should add but we started to look up look at the, you know the advantages disadvantages 
uh, obviously, um, sort of moving back to the UK, um, tax was a, a was definitely a, a bit of a bit of a killer, um, and, and financially in general. So being abroad, um, there's there's massive financial incentives, and and we kind of uh, reluctantly we had to take those golden handcuffs off. Um, but we had a huge uh, kind of friendship group in Dubai. It was it's fun. There was a nice house, and, and and we had a great job. So there was a lot to give up. Um, but um, I, I, I suppose what would be kind of, and, and I appreciate with, with the audience listening, um, I don't want to kind of um, sound like I'm, I'm trying to convince anyone, um, but just for my wife and I at the time, we were kind of um, really aware of the fact that our, our parents were getting older. Uh, we weren't seeing as much of our nieces and nephews. Um, and then we had this strange sort of identity crisis almost where we kind of thought, well, this is what will define us, um, even though we're having wonderful time here and we could stay on and on. Um, we kind of thought we we need to almost grind our children in, in a culture that's sort of um, perhaps more familiar to who, who they who they who they are, who they who they might be. So um, that was a, a big part of the the, the, the sort of puzzle if you like in, in making that decision and then we were it was a strange we, we had a lot of friends and we were having a lot of fun but we were still feeling in a weird way lonely I think that's because uh, our family weren't weren't there and we were thinking you know we should be really sharing some of this with them um, so that weighed on our minds a little bit as well um, and it was kind of that thing about having children and how that can change your life um, irrevocably so we we were um, as, as, as young people, um, the swim up bars and, and, and all of that was great fun. And, and, and we, we did all that and loved it. But um, eventually we, um, we realized that that kind of modern Dubai life um, becomes kind of less appealing when you have children who, who don't want to sit on the beach all Friday or who, um, who aren't you know, uh, terribly excited about um, going to brunch and sitting there for hours. Um, so we, we eventually, some of the things that we actually enjoyed most when we first arrived in Dubai became monotonous just because of, of, of the fact that our lives had changed and so on. Um, so having returned home first few months, lots of logistic, logistical challenges around, um, around sort of settling into our, uh, our house at the time and um, um, just, just all the, the hassles around school and everything, it was, it was, it was tricky. So. Um, it, it definitely, it, anytime you move, you, you face all these kind of um, these challenges. Um, and with children, it just um, multiplied. And then we realized in that first uh, first few months um, that we were really going to have to budget, whereas in Dubai, um, it wasn't quite as quite as big a consideration. It was a bit more about how much will I save. Um, so uh, that was a that was a new experience. Um, Sort of having having never worked at home and, and lived in the UK um, since 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 graduating graduating as a teacher, so um, it, it was a bit of a strange winter. We we quite enjoyed the autumn. Um, we were new to the area, but once the the dark evenings set in, um, it, it it became definitely and, and and with having less less um, money essentially through the through the kind of the winter months. Um, the, the reality of, of the move had sunk in, in a sense. Um, but out of that, we uh, we obviously were kind of debating during that period if we made the right decision. So many people do return, I think, for the, those very reasons. Um, and, and so many people kind of uh, return and then and then decide it hasn't worked out and bounce back back again. However, we, we uh, find ourselves in spring and, and it's a funny time in, in the UK and Ireland because uh, the, you see the sun again, the sun comes out, people are smiling, people are happy. And um, and you can you know get outside and and and, and the, the outdoors here are absolutely beautiful in, in the southeast and and we kind of rediscovered that we actually loved the area and um, and it made me reflect and ponder on on how how much the seasons influence um, where you live. For example, in, in Dubai, it was kind of hot and hotter, but uh, but 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 but. Here, obviously, uh, people's moods are quite often uh, influenced by by what sort of season it is. And then we, for that reason, we hit the following winter. And again, I can remember having conversations with my wife. You know, would we would we like to kind of move abroad again, have the opportunity to earn some more money? And we returned to these kind of pros and cons of, of what influenced the decision when we were living in Dubai. 
and uh, a lot of them applied again. And, and it really, it was it was the same reasons that we we moved back from Dubai that we kind of were essentially keen to avoid having those regrets again. Even though we we, we realised you could move abroad and earn more money and it could be fun and you can travel, we we kind of thought we would potentially in two three years time end up in the same boat. So we decided to stay. So my tips are, um, I think it's got to be at the right time. If you feel that you have a pull and it's influenced by reasons that are something that you won't regret later. Um, you know, if you think if I move now, then I'll have that time with family, then I think absolutely it's it's worth worth considering. Uh, but if you're young and, and just uh, and uh, you've got young parents and so on, and you're having great fun, then absolutely um, crack on and, and continue enjoying the life abroad. OK, I'm going to stop now and return because I can see I've only got about four minutes before uh, I have another class come in. Um, and I'll return now to, uh, to field any questions.